Oh, it's a little bit late, but uh, let's see what we can do here. That uh, necromancer is uh, necrotic ooze, rather, is obviously enormous. I could swing with the fallen. If he blocks it with the ooze, I can play fume spitter to put another counter on it, and then finish it with contagion clasp proliferates. He could also block with the Mersmith, however. Um, which would be a little bit awkward. Because I could still put the Fume Spitter counter on the Ooze and clasp up. Uh, if I just play Bellowing Tangle Worm, I lose to his no 7 power of guy. So I can do that. And I do not think I'm going to get anywhere by just sitting back either. Uh, so what I'm going to do first is swing in. And see what happens. Uh, one option, of course, is to play Fume Spitter uh, and simply use it to block his giant Intimidate guy. And then try and get him with, like, Black Cleave Goblin or such. Question here obviously is uh, do I want to withstand death this guy? Mm. No, I don't think I can afford to. Uh, what is quite interesting is that um, if he chooses to save his sky guard, then, but obviously he gets a big sky guard, but it wouldn't be attacking me anymore. And then suddenly his necrotic ooze it looks a lot more vulnerable if I'm suddenly proliferating that guy to death. So I can keep him off balance uh, with the proliferating. I could of course just withstand death my guy this turn, but uh, I don't think that seems like a particularly powerful option. I think I'd rather be able to see withstand death the Black Cleave Goblin. Yeah, because... Now, if he saves his guy, that's fine. I, he has a 4-4, but his ooze is back down to being a one toughness dude. And I'm not dead to just being attacked.
Now, if I just make Necropede, in fact, if I make Necropede or Blackleaf Goblin, he can sacrifice his Necrotic Ooze with my Fume Spitter's ability. And we buy it, actually. I, I, I feel that this game really slipped away after I didn't have a fifth land by turn nine because I played because I played around him using the death mantle and everything, but I I just couldn't play out the actual cards in my hand for as he went straight up to eight uh, eight nine lands and was able to play expensive guys and have them free to be reanimated at every any time. Uh, I probably should should have played better. Uh, I need to go back and review this game because uh, there must have been better lines of play for me to make. Uh, as far as the sideboard is concerned, I definitely want these no hill spell bombs. They actually do something, and they'll also go along with the throne of Geth. Things I want to take out, uh, probably include with Stand Death, since his removal spells are all basically um, Fume Spitter's activations and arrests, and that doesn't really do anything to him. Uh, Bello and Tangle Worm would be alright, but I need to make room somehow, and it's the least exciting card. Well, <laughs> I say that again, but I keep forgetting about Blackleaf Goblin, who probably never getting in once again. So I'll leave Tango Worm in there because he had the potential to be really good that game, but uh, he just wasn't able to come down in time.